Okay, so I want to talk about uh, oil pressure switch and the socket that I used on my 98 uh, GMC 454. So um, had a heck of a time. I had a switch that failed. It broke in two pieces, leaked and dropped pressure. So I had to stop driving the truck and get the right part. Um, searching around for the parts, um, parts house had cheap ones. This one in my hand came out of O'Reilly's for like $32 and it didn't uh, read pressure properly. And reading online, I think this pressure switch was bleeding through and shorting out the contacts. It would start the car at 80 pounds cold and then heat up and once it heat up to normal operating temperature, it would drop to zero, throwing all sorts of lights on the dash. So that wasn't working. And the engine sound fine. So I know I had oil pressure, but uh, I still want to read the correct pressure and not have any lights. To get the switch off, I ordered this Lyle tool brand socket to take it off, which is the correct size, one and one sixteenth, but then uh, getting the socket on the switch uh, posed a challenge because the engine casting, um, the way the engine casting is and location of the switch would not allow you to put the socket on. I could not get it on there to take the uh, switch off. So you see how I have sanded with an abrasive belt sander to make it such as a cone so it would fit on the switch and take it off. And that worked perfect. So just a heads up on these old Gen 6 454s. Um, and I will uh, give the uh, video that I made. I know it's not completely warmed up, but um, I'm at idle and I do have oil pressure much better than what I had earlier today. And uh, I'm gonna let it idle here for a little bit and see what happens. I'm hoping this is it. Come back in a few minutes after idle. start up at 80 pounds as it warms up it will settle down to 60 and then 40 40 is adequate for whatever reason when it gets hot it drops to zero no oil leaking and engine sounds fine not noisy so I'm still at a, at a miss Two sensors later and a trip to GMC dealership and I'm still waiting on that part but I put the Amazon uh, switch in for the sensor and it's holding at 60 it never swept to 80 so we're just gonna build some heat and see what happens um, I don't have any check gauges so let's build some heat and see if it falls like it was doing to me Okay, so I think we're uh, calling it good. It's plenty happy holding somewhere around 30 pounds of pressure. It's plenty hot. No gauge warnings of any sort. And uh, I think we're gonna call this success. I think Amazon saved the day again with the Chinese part. <laughs>